<laughs> yeah. read the Bill Shaken article, what were your initial reactions to it? I was uh, surprised. I hadn't thought about the Angels possibly moving back to Los Angeles where they started. But the more I thought about it, it made great sense. It made great sense because Artie Moreno clearly uh, sees a bigger picture as owner of the Angels. He doesn't want it to be perceived as an Orange County uh, only team. He wants it to encompass all of Southern California, certainly from Los Angeles to Anaheim. And I think he clearly knows how to make money. So I, uh, I think uh, they will explore those possibilities if the NFL stadium uh, hasn't been hasn't broken ground and there hasn't been a commitment uh, from another uh, team to come to Los Angeles. What are some of those economic opportunities? Because they're already locked into that long-term television rights deal. It doesn't seem like that will have an immediate impact, no. but what sort of immediate impact, maybe long-term impact, would being in Los Angeles serve? Well, I think when they made the decision to change the name, they saw the value of having Los Angeles attached to the, uh, you know, the club's name. So now bringing them into Los Angeles certainly uh, solidifies the perception that this is an LA team. You can charge more theoretically if you're representing a bigger area, more significant area, and you can grow a fan base because you've just got a greater uh, population in the immediate Los Angeles area. So now you're reaching out to uh, the San Fernando Valley, an area you really can't tap into being in Orange County now. Um, you, you just increase the potential of, uh, you know, of a television audience and fans coming to um, the stadium, and you can build your own stadium from the ground floor. So there's a certain uh, satisfaction in being able to call the shots and and uh, be involved in the planning and building of the stadium. Do you think part of this, because it's a few years away, that opt-out clause from Anaheim, could part of it just being trying to get? a better deal from Anaheim to try to get a new stadium in Anaheim if you're using Los Angeles as sort of a, a pawn in this whole thing? Oh, no, no doubt, no doubt. It's, it's the, the, you know, gives you a little bit more leverage in your discussions. Um, if, it, if the city of Anaheim sees the, you know, the potential of this move as a real concern, I think it would be a motivation to, to get a deal done. Um, it certainly puts the city in a more difficult position than it was in because I think a lot of people might have assumed that there weren't any great alternatives to Anaheim. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a better one uh, in Southern California than downtown, but they've also said in that article that they, they will exhaust, um, they believe that <clears throat> they'll exhaust the possibilities of looking uh, at a number of sites, not just downtown LA. And when we're talking about moving to downtown LA, we're talking about being, you know, two miles away from the Los Angeles Dodgers. LA is already a place that we've seen can hold two teams in the same arena, but is it big enough for two 50,000 seat stadiums two miles away from each other? Can that fan base support, you know, that large amount of seats basically in that small piece of area. Well I think you've seen um, a close enough scenario with the Lakers and Clippers. Now obviously they're in the same building but I don't think it would matter if, if Staples Center was uh, if another building was five minutes from Staples Center I think you'd still see the fans of the Clippers or the Lakers going to that building. I think it's more just where you are and are you in an area that is easy to get to? Is it accessible? Um, do you have a fan base there that is significant and can it grow? And as long as you're somewhere in the downtown LA area these days, I think you uh, are in pretty good shape because I think that's where the real center of sports in this city has, has now gone. I think an interesting question would be if the Angels looked at, let's just say, um, you know, the Hollywood Park area where the football stadium was talked about uh, as, as a possibility a few years ago, or the City of Industry, another area where the football stadium is being discussed, or some of those outlying areas. Now I think you have a, have a question of, you know, would that be a wise move to go from where they are in Orange County? But um, it's hard to imagine going wrong with downtown LA, assuming that they clear enough space, the parking is adequate, you don't have the perception that there's going to be great congestion 
on weekdays because with 81 home games in baseball, you know, that's a, that's a lot of times that you're running right into traffic as people are leaving work. That's a good point about Hollywood Park because there's always the possibility that the owners of the racetrack could opt to sell it off for the, it to be changed entirely. Could this become a scenario where we may have different sites all being played up against each Competing, other? Competing, you know, yeah, Park. absolutely. I think ultimately there is going to be a sale of that property by Hollywood Park, whether it's the racetrack itself or the area around it but I think they'll look for the best deal possible. So uh, I would imagine that they would try to become players if the Angels were really shopping around. Um, and that's an area that's out there. Would That would be, I think, uh, a real question whether um, you could draw you know, 81 times a year enough fans to come to that area of the city. But I don't think that you'd have an issue with uh, downtown LA with the Angels. You have you have a Latino owner who's going to work hard at appealing to uh, a heavily Latino fan base in downtown LA. So I think it fits from that standpoint the demographics, and um, it makes a lot of sense. And it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what this causes to happen in the negotiations with Anaheim now that this has been raised as a possibility. Just a couple more questions. It's it's tough to speculate, maybe, but. Do you think that fans in Orange County would still be willing to support the Angels if they moved to LA County? Or maybe does that not matter at all because the LA County's population size is so substantial? I'm not sure it would matter that much. It's an interesting question. You'd have to look at when the Rams moved from the Coliseum to uh, Anaheim Stadium. Now as a season ticket holder at the time, I can tell you the group of people I was with, we continued to go to the games and I think a lot of people did. Um, uh, so, it, it, you know, you would have a chance to retain uh, at least some of your fan base. But with football, and you only have eight, six, eight, ten home games a year, it's a little bit different on a Sunday to get people to drive down there. If you're talking about a season ticket base, uh, and now you have 80, 81 games, and you have to make trips, frequent trips up during the week from Anaheim, from Orange County, up in to downtown LA. That's, uh, that's going to be trickier. That's going to be harder. So I would say you wouldn't count on retaining um, uh, all of your fan base. I think you'd hope to you know, retain some element of it, especially those people located between uh, downtown and Anaheim. And there's, there, there would be, you know, I think, a significant number that would be in that area, too. Right. And finally, what's the benefit for AEG? Why does Anschutz call this meeting with Artie Marino? Is it just foot traffic to LA Live? Is it equity that a baseball stadium could bring to AEG's property? What do you think? Oh, they just, the they, they want to, they're in the business of, of building stadiums, uh, arenas, um, of being in the uh, sports business, in the entertainment business, and they want to have another tenant, and they would love it to be football first, but I think if uh, something falls through with football, they'll go to the next you know, the next item on the checklist, which would be baseball, if there's interest in coming to downtown. So, they, um, you know, their whole thing is to get, uh, uh, you know, to continue to be a major player in, in sports um, in in Southern California and really around the world. So, absolutely, if there's interest in coming to LA, they're going to be aggressive, I think, in in pursuing it. Is there anything else I haven't asked you that you think is important about this deal? Sounds like we've covered it. <laughs> yeah. Great. Good.